नमस्कार इंडिया मेट्रोलॉजिकल डिपार्टमेंट वेलकम्स यू इन इट्स ए डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग एंड द हाईलाइट ऑफ द ब्रीफिंग इज द इंटेंस स्पेल ऑफ रेनफॉल एक्टिविटी वेरी लाइकली टू कंटिन्यू ओवर द मैनी पार्ट्स ऑफ द साउथ पेनिसुलर इंडिया ओवर द घाट एरियाज ओवर द कोस्टल एरियाज ऑफ द महाराष्ट्र एंड ओवर द गोवा ड्यूरिंग नेक्स्ट फोर टू फाइव डेज If we uh, look for the observed rainfall during past 24 hours, then uh, this black color symbols uh, represents the heavy rainfall area. So, yesterday heavy rainfall occurred over Bihar, East Uttar Pradesh, West Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat region, Telangana, some parts of the Karnataka and Rajasthan Sima. And yesterday very heavy rainfall also occurred over Saurashtra, over the Konkan, over uh, Ghat area, Madhya Maharashtra, Kerala, Jharkhand, some Himalayan, West Bengal and Sikkim and Assam. And this red color symbol it represents the extremely heavy rainfall which basically occurred over the meghalaya and if you look for the today's main chief synoptic feature so today the monsoon trough uh, which is mainly running from the punjab it then it passes through the haryana uttar pradesh uh, bihar jharkhand west bengal and it goes up to the northwest bay of bengal at the mean sea level and in the lower levels another trough which basically runs from the sikkim up to the north chatisgarh across bihar and jharkhand in the lower tropospheric levels a circulation lies over the northwest uttar pradesh another circulation lies over the gujarat coast and over the bay of bengal a cyclonic circulation lies over the southwest and adjoining south east bay of bengal along the west coast an offshore trough which basically runs from the maharashtra coast up to the kerala coast across the karnataka coast because of these synoptic features if we look for the heavy rainfall warning uh, for the next 5 days then uh, mainly if we look for the south peninsular india then heavy to very heavy rainfall very likely to occur over the south peninsular india particularly over the coastal karnataka south hinderi karnataka kerala tamil nadu coastal and pradesh and rail sima during next 4 days because of that we have given the orange color warning mainly for the tamil nadu कोस्ट कर्नाटका साउथ इंडर कर्नाटका एंड कोस्ट एंड प्रदेश फॉर द नेक्स्ट थ्री टू फोर डेज एंड इवन ऑन टुडे एंड टुमारो आइसोलेटेड एक्सट्रीमली हैवी रेनफॉल इट मींस द रेनफॉल मोर देन ट्वेंटी सेंटीमीटर इज आल्सो लाइकली ओवर केरला ऑन टुडे एंड टुमारो सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट वी हैव गिवन दी रेड कलर वार्निंग फॉर केरला फॉर थर्ड ऑफ जुलाई एंड फोर्थ ऑफ जुलाई एंड ओवर द कोस्टल कर्नाटका एंड साउथ इंडर कर्नाटका आइसोलेटेड एक्सट्रीमली हैवी रेनफॉल इज आल्सो लाइकली ऑन फोर्थ ऑफ जुलाई Uh, from 7th of july there will be the gradual reduction in rainfall activity mainly over the south peninsular india uh, from 7th and even only light to moderate rainfall will continue over the coastal and pradesh tamil nadu telangana and rail sima however isolated heavy rainfall uh, can be experienced at one or two places over the kerala and karnataka on 7th of july and onwards and if you look for the west india mainly the maharashtra then isolated heavy to very heavy rainfall very likely over konkan over the goa area and over the ghat area of the madhya maharashtra in the upcoming 5 days we have given the orange color warning for the konkan goa and uh, madhya maharashtra for the next 5 days and even on 5th of july 6th july and 7th july isolated extremely heavy rainfall is also likely over the konkan over goa and ghat area of the maharashtra and uh, if you look for the north west india and if you look for the even gujarat then the over the gujarat rainfall activity will increase from 6 of july onwards so we have given the yellow color warning for the gujarat on 6 of july and orange color warning for the 7th of july because of the very heavy rainfall over the region if we go for the north west india then um, uh, isolated heavy rainfall very likely to continue over the uttarakhand during next 5 days and isolated heavy rainfall is also very likely over the east uttar pradesh on 3rd of july 4th of july and 5th of july so we have given the yellow color warning for uttarakhand for in the for the next 5 days for the east uttar pradesh for the next 3 days and Uh, over the east rajasthan isolated heavy rainfall on is very likely on 6 july and 7th of july if we look for the east india then there will be the gradual reduction and gradual basically increase in rainfall activity over the east india from 5th of july so we have given the yellow color warning for the east india for 5th of july uh, and uh, over the odisha we have given the orange color warning for 6th of july because very heavy rainfall at one or two places is very likely over the odisha on 6th of july and even on today isolated very heavy rainfall uh, it's possible over the bihar because of that we have given when the orange color warning and isolated heavy rain fall over the bihar uh, jharkhand and gangetic west bengal for the next 2 days 
if we look for the uh, central india then there will be the increase in rainfall activity over the central india from the 5th of july 6th july and which will continue till the 7th of july also if we uh, look for the heavy rainfall warning mainly for the northeast india then heavy to very heavy rainfall particularly over the arunachal pradesh over the assam meghalaya and sub himalayan and west bengal and sikkim very likely during next two days and from 5th of july there will be the gradual reduction and rainfall activity over the region however the heavy rainfall at one or two places will continue over the entire northeast india including the sikkim area and even on today and tomorrow isolated extremely heavy rainfall is very likely over the sikkim area and at one or two places over the meghalaya we have given the orange color warning for the sub himalayan west bengal and sikkim over the arunachal pradesh and assam and meghalaya for two today and tomorrow because of the extremely heavy rainfall for over the sikkim meghalaya for the 3rd and 4th of july isolated extremely heavy rainfall over the kerala on 3rd and 4th of july over the coastal some parts of the karnataka on 4th of july and over the konkan goa and ghat area madh maharashtra on 5th 6th and 7th of july these are the some impacts which are possible so mainly because of the extremely heavy rainfall there is a possibility of localized flooding during the uh, intense spell of rainfall there is also possibility of water logging in the low lying areas mainly over the urban regions of those areas and there also can be uh, reduction in the visibility during the rain time and there is a possibility of traffic disruptions and there is also possibility of minor damage to the vulnerable structures including the kacha roads kacha houses and there is also possibility of some damage to the horticulture and plantation crops over the those regions on those particular dates so because of that please check for the traffic congestion in your areas before leaving uh, before leaving for your destination and you can also follow the traffic advisories if any traffic advisory issued in your area and avoid going to the areas which faces the water logging areas and avoid staying in the vulnerable structure and please update with the uh, weather information in your area for more detailed weather information you can visit the imd website you can follow us on our facebook page youtube channel and twitter page thank you